Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into today's reading. So in today's reading, we're assessing your current energy. We have three piles, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Pile number one, we have the Fushite Crystal with Fifth House Creativity. Pile number two, we have the Shamanic Dream Quartz Crystal with 12th house escape and pile number three we have the labradorite crystal with void of course moon missing so i'll give you all a couple moments to meditate on your pile selections All right, so pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you in your reading. Bye. Hi, pile number ones. Welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this Fushite crystal for your crystal selection and card number 29, fifth house with creativity. So assessing your current energy right now, I have a feeling that you're very grounded in your creative approach. Um or at least you want to be. I have a feeling, pile number ones, you all's energetic body really wants to have fun or trans transform something in your mind into the material, right? So this could be through writing, this could be through creating pottery, like I don't know what, where I got pottery from, but you know, this could be through creating pottery, through creating art, um, through through going to like an amusement park because we have like fun house in the background here. Anything. It's almost like you're trying you're trying to bring your childlike essence back into your life, okay? Some of you all might be seeing the number 29 or the number 29 can be very important to you right now and or some of you could be turning 29 years old or could be in your Saturn's return and I hear it comes every 29 years. I could be wrong, but yeah, so let's get more details on your current energy and assessing it, okay? So I'm going to start your pile selections. You guys can either watch me shuffle or you can go down to the description box and go straight to your pile, okay? So let's see. We're going to pick three cards out of here. Assessing pile number one's energy spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, assessing pile number one's energy spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This one and then that card. <clears throat> thank you, God, thank you, spirit. Assessing pile, our pile number one's energy. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Assessing pile number one's energy. Let me know if you guys like this format. I'm trying something new. I really just want you guys to get your messages clear, concise, and directly, okay? Assessing pile number of ones, energy. And let's pull some tarot. Assessing pile number ones, energy, spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages. Assessing on pile number ones, energy. Assessing our pile number one's energy. All right, so let's begin. Okay, so pile number one, let's start assessing your energy. So we have Neptune, very interesting, with Dream and Transcend. We have Taurus, Trust, Patience, and Stability. And we have the seventh house with profound relationships, intimacy, and romantic partnerships. So, okay, so pile number one, so what I'm getting here is that, like, there could be a lot of illusions going on with you right now. And I feel like you're dreaming of transcending, like I was kind of saying with this creativity card, you're dreaming of transcending your current state, right? You could be dreaming of like living in the lap of luxury. And the reason why I say that is because we have Taurus energy. Granted, it says trust, patience, and sen sensuality, right? And that's what I feel like you're, you're dreaming of. I feel like you just 
want things to be light and airy. And it could be in regards to a particular relationship right now, a partnership, intimacy, right? You could be wanting to find more time with like uh, maybe a, a partnership, like a romantic relationship that you're in or that you want to be in, right? Um, but with the Neptune energy here, dream and transcend, what I'm getting for you, pile number ones, is that continue to kind of daydream like don't daydream all day especially if you have things to do right <laughs> so don't daydream all day but dream like don't be afraid to like use your imagination as a form of kind of like escape right because that's where your creativity lies so don't be afraid to do that because that's what's going to create the world that you're trying to build here, whether with another person or, you know, whether with, um, you know, whether the life that you want for yourself, right? And I feel like there's a lot of trust that needs to take place here with you in regards to your future, in regards to a connection that you might be in. Let's um, let's pull some tarot to get more description on assessing your current energy. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess. Very interesting. We have the Devil. We have the Knight of Swords. You could be experiencing some rampant thoughts pile number ones especially with this neptunian energy um i know the astrology right now i believe neptune is still in pisces so this could be taking forth in your dream state with the high priestess in your subconscious mind right so you could be having like weird dreams <laughs> you know odd dreams crazy dreams right you could be having those and um it's almost like upon awakening you have like these incessant thoughts like you have like rapid fire thoughts and i feel like you're assessing them right now what does this mean for me why am i having this dream get a dream journal write it down okay or even if you don't get a dream journal you don't need a dream journal you could just get get a notebook like a notepad or like a notebook or you know i wouldn't suggest sleeping with your phone by your um bed if you can help it i know some of us use it for alarms but if you can help it, get like a physical like journal or like something to write on, even a sheet of paper, put it by your bedside and like try to write down the dreams that you have if you can remember them. And we have the eight of cups. OK. So pile number ones with the eight of cups, I feel like there's something you want to walk, walk away from. It could be toxic behaviors or um I feel like you you really do want to walk away from like you want to walk away from like yeah toxic behaviors or negativity or rushing things or something like that. I kind of want to get a little bit more clarity, so I will and pull one more card or a couple more cards for this Eight of Cups. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Please clarify this Eight of Cups for our pile number ones. Why is this Eight of Cups here? I'm feeling compelled to take... Okay, these are four cards. Let me shuffle a little bit better. Why, why is this Eight of Cups here for our pile number ones? So the Eight of Cups in its traditional <clears throat> um, depiction depicts a, a lunar eclipse happening. So this could be a part of the lunar eclipse. I am filming this on the 4th of May. So we're in that energy right now. Okay. Why is this eight of cups here for our pile number ones? Bottom of the deck, three of cups in reverse. So let's see. We have the three of swords, strength, and the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands was in reverse, but, you know, I feel like you want to walk away from thoughts of heartbreak. You want to strengthen your inner resolve or your, you want more inner strength, more inner resilience to like, I feel like you're kind of, like I said, like there's this flightiness in your approach to like a romantic connection 
or heartbreak or something like that. I feel like you want to walk away from indecision. That's what it is, pile number ones. You're trying, you're finding the strength right now to walk away from indecision and almost like stop breaking your own heart with these incessant thoughts or these maybe toxic thought patterns that maybe you've been finding yourself kind of like ruminating over, okay? Because with the strength card, I'm feeling like you're you're mustering up the inner resilience to not be so indecisive uh, about like your heart, about your emotional state, right? Interesting, very interesting. So we have our last three cards um, for your pile. So let's get to it. We have card number 19, inspiration. Isis, goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. So that's what I was getting. Like you're looking for inspiration and it could be an inspiration in love, right? So like if you're in a current relationship or you are looking to be in a current relationship, <laughs> current, you're looking to be in a relationship soon, I feel like you almost want that other person to inspire you or to bring something out of you and vice versa you bring something out of them right because we have guide we have the isis goddess and goddess uh isis is the moon goddess too and we have a, a lunar eclipse coming in soon and then i think this is osiris her husband right so there's a lot of spiritual components to this reading as is especially with the high priestess so we have prosperity card number three. <clears throat> it says, as, as this tree grows so strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine. I love this. So I feel like a connection could be bringing in not only inspiration and not only you bring in inspiration to each other, if that resonates, but also prosperity. So this is your current energy as well. So you don't really need to fear. I feel like the fear is in your head. You need to... How do I, uh, I want to say like, kind of like vanquish it or like wash it out of your subconscious mind. Whatever you need to do, get to a pile number ones because I feel like you you kind of know what you need to do. And then we have card number 22, safe travel. Keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. So when I first got this deck, card number 22, some of you all could be saying 222 a lot. Or the number two could be relevant. But when I first got this deck, I used to think this was talking about like, oh, traveling, like literal traveling. And it could mean that, right? Because I was traveling at the time. But what I'm starting to think now is this has a lot to do with the where you go in your mind, right? So like where how where are your thoughts traveling to? Where are your thoughts going, so to speak, right? Keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. Almost like reeling back in those rampant thoughts that you tend to have, okay? And grounding yourself. The Fushite crystal is, re is a really good grounding crystal. And it keeps, it's like you're going to have the thoughts, right? We're human beings. But it keeps you from dwelling on those thoughts to too long and it keeps you from like acting on those thoughts or overreacting on those thoughts okay so yeah pile number ones that is all the time that i have for you lovely dreamy dreamers i love you guys so much and and communicate with me you know i i answer all of my uh comments so like let me know what do you guys want to see from this channel i really want this channel to be a safe haven for us like Whatever you guys want to see on this channel. And I mean, like, do you like shorts? Do you like YouTube shorts? Would you like me to start incorporating smaller readings into YouTube shorts? Um, let me know, okay, down below in the comments. Also, if you're interested in beautiful, one-of-a-kind tarot journal, look no further. The link to this journal will be in the description box down below. It's 20 bucks, and Amazon will ship it straight to your house. And it's really good to kind of, like, Keep a catalog of either the pick a card readings you watch on this channel or any other readings. This could be personal readings, too, for your own zodiac sign on any other channel. OK, so the link to this will be in the description box down below. I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. <clears throat>
Hey, pile number twos, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this shamanic dream quartz. This is one of my favorite pieces of my crystal collection. Um, and card number 36 with the 12th house escape. Okay, so assessing your current energy, pile number twos, I have a feeling you all might want to almost like escape from your current dream states right now like you're probably having very odd dreams and it's <clears throat> excuse me and it's very interesting to me because i think this shows a lunar eclipse i could be wrong or it shows like the moon cycles right and i feel like there could be a lot of energy surrounding you in regards to escapism you could be seeing the number 36, 369, right? So you're thinking, you need to start thinking in the realm of vibration, right? You know that Tesla quote, think in, if you want to know the universe's secret, think in terms of like vibrations and frequencies. I'm paraphrasing, but that's pretty much how it goes. And I saw the number 36 and, you know, his equation 369, how like that's kind of like the vibratory energy of this universe. So num numerically speaking, right? So I have a feeling a lot of you all could be assessing your dreams or could be wanting to escape from some type of reality that you're in. With the shamanic dream courts also, I have a feeling like you could be having like maybe prophetic dreams at this time as well. Something has having to do with the Fibonacci sequence here with the shell. <laughs> okay, but let's let's delve deeper. Oh, let's delve deeper into your reading. I'm about to start your so yeah, I'm about to start your. start over oh, gosh. Okay. hey pile number twos welcome back to your reading so you all chose the shamanic dream quartz along with the 12th house escape card card number 36 okay so let's get into your reading i'm about to start your pile selection i mean your um picking your card. So if you would like to fast forward this part, you can down in the description box. You could just pick your pile or you could watch me shuffle. Assessing pile number two's energy spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages for assessing our pile number two's energy. Assessing our pile number two's energy. Thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit, on assessing pile number two's energy. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Assessing our pile number two's energy. I don't know why I feel compelled to pull this card. Clear, concise, accurate messages. About to pull your tarot. Assessing our pile number two's energy spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Assessing pile number two's current energy. Assessing pile number two's current energy. Did I pick five? Yeah. All right. Pile number twos. Let's get it. So. Again, here we have the 12th house escape, card number 36. You could be experiencing wanting to escape from something, wanting to escape from your current reality, pile number twos, okay? With the shamanic dream chords here, you could be having a lot of prophetic dreams due to this lunar eclipse that's about to take place. I'm filming this on the 4th, so I'm really, you know, near the partial lunar eclipse energy so you'll you'll probably be getting a lot of what you've been getting in prior readings in this reading as well so i'm getting like in regards to like 
I'm getting that um, Tesla quote, like if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of frequencies and vibrations, right? Because card number 36, 369, I'm getting something about the Fibonacci sequence here with this shell as well. So yeah, I don't know. Those could stand out to you all, but let's start assessing your current energies. We have Jupiter with grow and expand. We have Cancer with nurture, comfort, and protect. We have Yin with intuition, trust, patience, spirituality, and receptivity. So pile number twos, what I'm getting here is you're definitely open. You're definitely having like these psychic, ener energetic moments here, especially with uh, Cancerian energy here. And not only are you having high psychic energetic moments here but you're super receptive to everything around you receptive and perceptive is what i'm getting okay with this jupiter card here you're growing you're expanding into your conscious into your awareness right now and i have a feeling pile number twos it could it could seem a little daunting to the point where you kind of just want to do everything to not avoid it but to like almost mask the the energy like the loudness in your ear it's like it's like almost something like penetrating you and it's so loud and it's so like whether it be the thoughts or whether it be something it's so very blatant to you that you might find yourself wanting to escape it but i have a feeling it's just because your intuition is growing and yeah, it's just because your intuition is growing, right? But you have to trust what's happening here. You could be having like another spiritual awakening, especially with Jupiter. Jupiter is a very spiritual planet in and of itself because it's all about growth and expansion. Um, but yeah, let's let's get some of your tarot cards. Um, some of you all could be Cancers, of course, Cancerians. Uh or you might have your cancer could be in your uh, Jupiter could be in the sign of cancer. And um, I'm feeling like you're growing more nurturing, like you might want to nurture something as well. Um, yeah. So let's see. We have the devil. Uh, OK. <clears throat> we have the high priestess. Interesting. We have the knight of cups. Very interesting. You could be having psychic attacks, pile number twos. You also could have come from another pile. So we have the Hierophant. You're definitely growing spiritually here. And we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, there is something. Okay, okay. so obviously, like I was saying, I'm filming a day before, technically a day before this uh, partial lunar eclipse. But we know the moon energy. It's... um at its peak, even a couple days prior to the dates that were given and a couple days before the, you know, the dates that were given, uh, prior and then after, if I'm using that right, sorry, y'all. But anyways, yeah, you guys could be, yeah, you guys could be having like a lot of psychic attacks with the devil and the high priestess. That's just what I'm getting. I don't know why I'm getting that, like, but that's what I, what I'm getting, um, with the, devil and the high priestess here and it could be involving like a water sign pisces cancer scorpio or it could be involving someone or something that you're very passionate about but i feel like you're rising in the ranks on your spiritual journey also with the hierophant okay more taurus energy we are in taurus season so that could be why you're experiencing like this these psychic attacks because i feel like taurians are pretty they're pretty, um, well, A, they're pretty grounded people. So while all this spiritual stuff is happening in the ethers, it might could make even the most spiritual person feel like they they need to duck for cover, so to speak, right? And I say that because we have the Eight of Swords. There could be a lot of anxiety around the psychic inclinations or attacks and I say attacks you know in quotes because it just might be you're growing spiritually or you're growing into your intuitive abilities 
and it might seem heavy, but in reality, it's we're just giving labels to, to things that might not even need them, right? But I definitely feel like you are growing spiritually. Meditation could help, right? Grounding yourself, literal grounding. So like going to a park, walking on... Um, walking on grass barefoot um you know recharging your ion the ions in your body to the natural ions of the earth could really help but also here's something that could be a sigh of relief to you this is it's mostly internal it's mostly in your head there's nothing really too crazy going on here um other than maybe these maybe negative or toxic thought patterns that you're finding yourself in but I'm definitely getting like psychic attacks with the high priestess and the devil. Okay. But let's, let's see. So we have card number one with sensuality. So it's interesting that we have the hierophant. The hierophant is indicative of Taurus. And uh, we have card number one with sensuality. It says your freedom flowing from far away. I dance. I love. I laugh. I play. This could be something that you're craving right now. Um, maybe a loved one or a partner to be sensual with or kind of like showing your sensuality at this point because we have a lot of feminine energy in this reading. So I feel like that's where your current, that's especially where your current energy is. So let's see. We have card number 18, best possible decision. Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known. So I feel like whatever decisions you've made in the past, they were the best possible de decision for you. With card number 18, one and eight, nu numerologically, that's nine. So you could have wrapped up a cycle. And again, what did I say earlier about Tesla's 360, 369 theory? And I always said, I know this is funny, y'all, but I have to like, I just, you know, this is my personality. So when we were younger, or when some of us were like younger, there was this uh, duo called the Yin Yang Twins. And they would say 369, damn, she fine. Like, you, y'all don't remember that? I was like, the Yin Yang Twins always had it figured out, <laughs> okay? Even if they didn't know, they knew, you know? So I'm joking, but you know. Anyways, card number nine, and we have 21, three, and then we have 18, so that's one and nine. So you could be seeing a lot of synchronistic moments. As I say that, 3333 on the, on the timer. A lot of synchronistic moments here. And again, look, this figure has, they are like Isis. They have the moon, um, they have the crescent moon as their crown on their forehead. You're aware of what has had to be done or what needed to be done or what needs to be done, pile number twos, okay, at this time. And you could have this heightened awareness because of this um, astrological transit going on, okay? Last card, card number two, abundance. Goddess of abundance, divine. Let me thrive. Let fortune be mine. So I feel like in releasing something, whether it be like... Um, Maybe a little anxiety around a person, place, or a thing could bring in a lot of abundance. Or you're calling in a lot of abundance in your life right now, pile number twos. Anyways, Taurus season, it is a opulent season. Um, when it comes to Taurus season, I feel like Tauruses, A, they're governed by the planet Venus, which has a lot to do with prosperity, which has a lot to do with like the the leisures of life, right? So I feel like that's really what you're trying to call in right now. And that's where your current energy is residing, okay? So that is all the time that I have for you, pile number twos. I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers. If you like this reading, if it resonated, please hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe, share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone else who could possibly benefit from these readings also let me know in the comment section below like what else do you want to see from me what else do you want to see on this channel because i really want it to grow i want it to grow for you guys i want us to grow together so let me know down in the comment section what else could best benefit you on this channel on the crazy dreamer network okay also if you're interested in a beautiful tarot journal look no further it's one of a kind and uh, Amazon will ship it straight to your house, 20 bucks. And you can archive, uh, you know, the tarot readings on this channel or any other 
any other tarot channels on YouTube, okay? So link to that lovely journal will be in the description box down below. I love you all so much and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number threes, welcome back to your reading. So let's hop right into shuffling your cards. If you'd like to watch me shuffle, definitely stay tuned. If not, you could go to directly to your pile down in the description box down below. Let me know, guys, if you like this format better. If not, we'll switch back. But if you do, um, yeah. So let's see. Clear, concise, accurate messages on pile number three's current energies. Assessing pile number three's current energies, okay? Assessing our pile number three's current energy. Okay, let's get some tarot. Assessing pile number three's current energy spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Assessing our pile number three's current energy. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Assessing our pile number three's current energy. Perfect. So let's begin. All right, pile number three. So you guys chose this Labrador crystal with the void, of course, moon missing card 52. So some of you all could be turning 52 years old. Some of you all could be seeing the number 52 a lot, or some of you all um, could be seeing the number seven a lot. This definitely has something to do with this Mercury retrograde or pertaining to this partial lunar eclipse, definitely with the moon transits and with the astrological transits going on here. And it could be affecting you spiritually with the Labradorite crystal. But let's delve <laughs> into your messages pile number threes so we have taurus my goodness you cannot make this up with trust patience and sensuality i feel like this taurus card has come up in every reading so it's definitely in regards to taurus season you could be dealing with the taurus this the taurian or taurus energy could be really conditioning you to trust and have patience and appreciate the sensual things in life as well very tricky i i i shuffled that really good too um so we have the south node with destined to release so you're destined to release something but let's see it's the last part and then we have uh the fourth house with cultural and family roots home peace and comfort very interesting there's been a theme here pile number um there's been a theme here with Sorry, y'all. This is like, I don't know what's going on. This card seem kind of like. There we go. But it, again, there's been a theme here with Cancer and Taurus energy. They're not opposites because Cancer is opposite of Capricorn, which is close. Still Earth sign, right? But I feel like you, you could be destined to release this deep longing of like something missing maybe you feel like you're missing your family or a family or a home okay Taurus is really grounded in their homes too I feel like the Tauruses and Cancer have that similarity right they're creatures of comfort so, so maybe that's what yeah peace and comfort right so maybe you have to kind of release your comfort zone a little bit in order to get the things that you're asking for but let's let's go in with some tarot omg pile number threes what is happening here we have the devil card this has come out in all three piles this is trippy we have the four of swords. I'm sorry. I'm stressed, y'all. I'm stressed. Um, we have the chariot. Again, more cancer energy. The forward movement. Lovely. We have the ace of swords. Beautiful. And we have the page of pentacles. Okay, which way does this card go? Very interesting. So you're destined to release these negative thought patterns or whatever is going on with this devil energy, maybe obsession when it comes to something. Oh, again, I did I did just mention Capricorn in regards to um, 
cancers and those that being the opposite and not Taurus. And I was like close enough and then boom. And then we have the cancer energy with the, with the chariot here. So maybe like a lot of you all are feeling like the opposition of something right now. And it could just be an astrological opposition. It, it might not have anything to particularly do with anything going on really in your external world, but in your internal world, right? So we have the devil, the four of swords, the chariot. We have two major arcanas here, the ace of swords and the page of pentacles. You could be thinking about starting over, starting something new with your finances or in your material world too. You could be thinking a lot about material right now too, like obsessing over it. Like, you know, and I feel like spirit wants you to kind of rest on that, like release it and like just continue to move forward in whatever you're doing. Like it's interesting too, because in this chariot card, they are not moving forward. They are taking a pause. <laughs> so maybe it's because you've been working so hard or been thinking so hard about something, you have to kind of stop and reassess and that's how you move forward with it, right? Because there's this clarity, there's this breakthrough coming in for you. When Mental breakthrough coming in for you. So I think you might have to maybe like not release something completely, but almost like just step back from it, like get a broader perspective on what you need to do. And then, it, you know, you'll kind of like be in this learning stage here with the page of pentacles. It's like, yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. I want to know what this devil card here, this devil card has been coming out. It came out in every three each pile pile number threes and you guys seen how i've been shuffling like even i shuffle more off camera like i just make sure it's they're all mixed up and then once i get on camera i'll shuffle a little bit for you guys and then pick the cards right out that's trippy <clears throat> okay why is this devil card here spirit clarify this devil card for our pile number threes we have the pay the uh this is the Queen of Wands, very interesting. Why is this devil card here for our pile number threes? Oh my gosh, these cards are flying out. We have the two of pentacles. What is this devil card here for our pile number threes? And then we have the ace of cups. Bottom of the deck, five of swords. Um, hmm. I feel like you could be kind of obsessive about something or wanting something your complete way. And it has to do with, it has to do with emotions, juggling your emotions and maybe your love of something, your self-worth with your physical or how you get things done. This could be at work to pile number. This could be about work. You could be obsessed with something that you're doing obsessed with your appearance even and juggling that with like your emotions it's very interesting okay let's finish this reading so hopefully that made sense to somebody we have card number 16 joy as i do will so mode it be let joy and light radiate from me beautiful we have card number 14 friendship bring to me friendship true sharing laughter understanding too and then we have card number 23, romance. This is what you're juggling. You could be, what, what I'm getting with those three cards, let me bring them back. Queen of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. You could be trying to find like this happy medium around a friendship and or around your friendships in a, romant, in a romantic partnership, right? It's like you want everyone to be happy but it's almost like between juggling between friendships and romance, it's like, well, where do I find the time for me? You know, and it's almost like maybe even like getting into this toxic cycle of trying to please everybody instead of yourself. That's why the four swords is here. There's like this break that you need to take or rest or you need to release it. And I feel like you're coming into this epiphany like, hey, I can't me trying to make everybody happy that's cool but what about me like what about like my needs my own need the needs that i need to meet for myself what about those 
Like maybe those are kind of going by the wayside and you're feeling like something's missing. Like there's this void, right? Void, of course, moon missing. You're feeling like there's this void. And I don't think it's necessarily in any of these aspects. With the joy here, I feel like you need to kind of like bring joy to yourself. Maybe you need to change up some toxic habits or something like that um, that's going on within you or, you know, in your environment. So you can, you know, find that semblance of joy for you. And I have a feeling it has nothing to do with friendships or romance. It has everything to do with the joy that you need to kind of like stoke within yourself. Pile number threes. Because you feel like something's missing and I don't feel like, I feel like you have friends, you have romance, but that's not cutting it. It's like, it's almost like drawing from you too. And not in like a bad way, but it's like, you need to take a rest. Like, look, look, did you guys see that? You need to take a rest. These foxes, they're stopped here. I think this is the only chariot card that I have that is not in motion. <laughs> that is not facing forward in motion. And then we have the four swords. It's saying in order to see things clear or to find this joy that you're seeking, there has to be a pause or a break in something. Not a breakup or anything like that. I'm not getting that. I'm not getting heartache or anything like that. But just a pause for your own sanity, for your own reprieve or whatever. I don't even know what words I'm using anymore. But for your own sake is what I'm trying to say. For your own sake. Okay, pile number three. So this was a very intense reading. I didn't like not in a bad way. Just it was deep. So with that being said, I love you all so much. My pile number threes. Um, like this video if it brought you value, if it brought you joy like share subscribe share this content with loved ones or anyone else who might benefit from the messages provided here today if you're interesting in a be if you are interested in a beautiful one-of-a-kind tarot journal look no further the link to this beautiful tarot journal will be in the description box down below um it's only 20 bucks and amazon amazon will ship it straight to your house um or wherever you get your mail or wherever you get your amazon packages okay uh, this is a great tool to use not only on our channel, but on all the other tarot channels you might frequent, okay? And um, yeah, it's just good to be able to assess the patterns that so often happen in tarot readings, okay? So again, link will be in the description box down below. I love you all so much. and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye.